I am. Yes. Good day. And welcome to Mr. Loud and today's vlog, the Phuket Zoo Revisitard. Yeah. And I left the bike there with the key in it and the camera to go. Why not? Last time I was here, I brought you something it was quite shocking. I did. Will I be able to bring you the same shocking footage this time around? No, I won't, no, no. <laughs> but this is the abandoned Phuket Zoo. Wow, where you can still see the pavilion, some kind of outbuilding, some more outbuildings and some grounds. Now, if you remember, it's on the Patreons by the way. The original Phuket Zoo in both parts is on the Patreons account, as are many. Over the next week, over 250 of my vlogs will be posted on the Patreon account. Due to new guidelines via YouTube and censorship agreements that I have signed, I will now be taking anything down with any infringement, any incurrence, anything that really shouldn't upset YouTube's algorithm at all. So I have taken them down. They will be on my Patreon's account where there are vlogs already on, even old ones from 11 years, but uh, they will all be transferred to there. And anything that I do where I happen to come out and I swear or whatever, then obviously they, they'll be going on to me Patreon's. But right now, you may hear me swear, well, you may not. This is, look, this is the abandoned Phuket Zoo and most of it is still here. <laughs> I'm keeping a close eye on my bike. Yes, I am. As I do not want repercussions of what happened last time. Now, I'm gonna do a little vlog using the, the um, footage from last time. Okay, now I'm gonna take this a bit further because what I come down here for, what would I go and make another vlog where I almost went to prison, got caught by the owners, could have gone, could have lost so much money, could have lost everything, could I actually lost my life or I could in fact have been fed to alligators. That, that is what was really scary about it was the animals that are found in the Phuket Zoo about 40 to 60 deer a pit full of alligators and a tiger not one six tigers and all i've done right there that is the old entrance to where i went last time so let's go and see if you guys can recap and remember because there's bits here that I wanted to film but couldn't. Like this crazy temple builder with the monkeys on it. Here. Now the best thing is there's no gates. Right, there's no one. There's no signs. There's nothing. But these, these are the things I didn't get to film before. They're like it's all part of the old zoo. All in here. I don't know what would be in here. Right, there's no snakes. But like it's just wicked old like I say, it's not like a zoo, it's like fairy ground kind of carnival, circus type stuff. So I never got to show you all what was in there before, unfortunately. Because I was concentrating on what was in here. Now you can see... Oh man, that... All the cages are all gone. So I know the tigers aren't in it, I hope. I hope the tigers aren't in it because they were, they were all here in these metal proper steel frames and that pit there is the alligator pit. Okay, no, I'm not running away. No, 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 there's no gate. <laughs> there's no signs. There's no tiger there anymore for reporters to report upon. But I still need to go and look at the alligator pit as I still 
need to look at this stuff. The abandoned. Pickets. Oh man, look at all the fish tanks. Wow. Man, the amount of stuff. I mean, the geese are skint apparently. Which is why the tigers were taken away. But, mate, this is a wicked. This would make a proper banky. Banky. New word, banky, banky. Having to replace banky with the old word. But wouldn't that make a really banky coffee shop? That word, selling weed. Wouldn't it? Get your paints. <laughs> That's a weed coffee shop mushroom bar waiting to happen. Right there, the old Phuket Zoo. I'm keeping an eye on these twin cabs because there's a particular security guard I've got to keep an eye out for. Right. So here we go. Back on the truck and we're going in. It's fucking hour. So, ah, oh, oh, we, we are. I was, I was doing so well. Trying not to swear. I was. So we are in. Now I said I weren't going to do this. <laughs> I did, I said to Rich, I said, nah, nah, I brought me drone, mate. I'm just going to fly the drone in there. Now, all this grass seemed to have been cut. So someone's been coming here, keeping on an eye on things. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. So the deer were all in there, over there. Still keeping an eye on making sure no one's coming about, man. Because you just really don't know, don't want to end up in that pit right there wow and there's another pit over there which i never looked at oh man there's plenty of birds about i don't know if that's a good or a bad sign <laughs> but i am in i thought i heard a bang over there it's disused buildings you see i just don't want to see anyone Don't. Right. Let's do this intrepid little walk. Fuck it. Oh man. Oh, there are birds. I thought it was someone shouting. This I'll tell you what guys. I don't want to be doing this. I really don't. Mate. Oh yeah. Oh man. Spooky woogie time. It looks empty. Hey, I just hope I don't want to. It is. Oh, mate. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Look at the side. I'm fucking. Mate. No, oh, not again. Right. They're in there. Fuck. And they were the big ones. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, mate, I didn't want to see that. I was, I, mate, I really didn't. I thought, I thought the whole place was cleaned up. No, they're too massive. Massive, seven, eight foot alligators. I know you got a glimpse. I don't want to see any more than that. They really don't. I'm out of there, man. Oh, it really done me. Two, I know the one jump, I thought it was empty. When the big one did his freaky thing and jumped in the pool, he exposed there was another one in there and they're both really big. I'd, I'd say they were proper, proper big alligators. I did not want to see them. <laughs> I had enough of seeing freaky stuff, man. How can they still be in there? It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Oh, man. But, I ain't done yet. Oh, mate, that's done me, but, oh, mate, your legs are gone to jelly. I can't believe. <sighs> right now, what I'm doing, Right now, there's um, there's some sort of aquatic park over there that's been built. But when I first came here, 
and turned right and found the zoo up there. What I saw, this has had a little bit of work done to it, but what I saw is some of the Phuket Zoo uh, artifacts being used in this landscape. Look, there, they were laying about a crocodile there. Right. Oh, 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 oh. This has all been landscaped, this concrete has been built since last time and then all the little the dinosaurs, I'll, I'll, there's a guy working here so I'll ask if I can walk around and have a look but they're uh, built, sweaty cab, spotty, it's okay, can do, okay kapum, kapum cap. that's wicked so this, <laughs> you gotta walk in there Oh, look at the size of that alligator. It's gonna be coffee shop. Coffee. Coffee and cannabis, right? Coffee and cannabis. Hello. Hello, coffee and... No. No. Oh, it's look good, man. Oh, it's good. From the zoo, right? From Phuket Zoo. Yeah. Kapoom. Look at that. Oh man, it's decent. So they, they, they come from the Phuket Zoo. It's probably the owner who's having this all built. It's wicked. <laughs> I don't want to see any more crocodiles. Ah, oh, if they are from the guy, that's where they may end up. There's a pond there, look, or a pit. Okay, so the croc, yes. Okay, and there's more here. Oh man, but there's a. Uh, oh man, there's even more creatures. In that garden at the back, so I reckon the crocodiles will come in here. Yes, there's going to be, aha, I can see. This is going to be a marine type coffee shop park. All these beautiful sandstone boulders being bedded in. Here you've got an arena. So I guess snake shows. Oh man. Oh, maybe elephant bathing. Elephant bathing's the big one right now. Come and bathe on an elephant that's fucking... So, oh, okay, that's enough of the vlog ruined. Won't earn any money off this one. <laughs> but here we are, we have got the prehistoric animals from the Phuket Zoo. That's really cool. They make wicked ornaments and decorations. Oh, and I think it's a restaurant next door what I was looking at. Oh, man. Yeah, I've been really disappointed in seeing how productive. Oh, man, there is, there's more gear. There, I'll, I'll go around and drive in and film that stuff, see what all the ornate stuff in there is. There's some wicked looking stuff. I like all that stuff. Yeah, the elephant pools where you can go, the elephant's got his bath full of water, and then you, you of course, can get in there and have your, get covered in his sediment and have your picture taken. That's what he kept. Can I um, go in there? It's okay? Ah, okay, come on. Okay, I'll be really quick. I just asked that guy, that'll save me re doing a clip <laughs> those guys probably work for the zoo owner but do you know what i mean <laughs> they probably i don't know if they recognize the bad hat or what oh man old taxi in here see this stuff is awesome that stuff you can just make that into a wicked cocktail bar or something like i say none nothing's ever dead oh man nothing all this ornate welcome so a seafood restaurant that's probably shut down. Oh man, it's beautiful, all old wood. Loads of reclaimed stuff. I like to see it. I like to see a great big reclaimed yard. And man, of all this stuff. Oh, the Hermans with animal heads. <laughs> like I saw there. But I see, oh man, oh, more fish tanks. Man. Yeah, this is all from the zoo. The Mickey Mouse is cool. But I like the Sphinx with the alligator heads. How oh, cool. That's so cool. <laughs> like I say, you could make, and the frog, look at the size of the frog. They are cool. You could make a wicked cafe. Wow, Banksy cafe galore. You got your two serpents. Oh man. Man wrestling an alligator, a rhino. You've got a massive water buffalo. He looks real, man golden one. <laughs> oh, plant pot he looks real that buffalo right there that's proper that's straight out of Cambodia mate a seat wicked look at him wow that's how I like to see him the rhino cool stuff 
cool stuff and this is all what what has been taken out man there's some wicked stuff in here i'll tell you all these panels podiums oh, man. you could certainly make something banksy you certainly could oh, you could with these banksy type chairs banky banky type chairs sorry sorry they are superb they're wicked cabinets that'd do well in an antique center in norwich really would it is awesome to see all this gnarly wood the old chair the tables and there's a three another two chairs cup and cap cap oh man well guys i've got to say <laughs> I, I really didn't like so it's freaked me out seeing them two big alligators there and i wish i hadn't i really do i wish the whole place had been empty and gone and dust and whatever because i'll probably now get a bit more flack releasing this vlog because of the exposure which i really don't want to be doing i was like i thought it's got to be all no no i was quite when i saw that all the cages all the metal cages with the tigers have gone when i saw all they were gone i thought oh that's it that's good they cleaned the place up it's safe you to walk around but how can that be safe and then you can walk straight in no warning signs or nothing cup and cap thank you uh, wicked looking sight so you know what you're gonna see here in about a year i guess well right I'm hungry. I am. I need. I oh do. I don't know if I'm going to get one today. Things have changed at my happy place. I has. Nothing stays the same for long. Well, not a happy ending. Matter of fact, I'm really disappointed, guys. What well, was a really great place to chill, relax, and enjoy with lovely people has been so. Oh mate, it's turned, it's turned rubbish. The pond is full of people smoking, not just cigarettes. There's an Italian family in there right now smoking a cigar. I mean, oh, they're like, there's just people past caring about it, but it's a restaurant. What are you doing smoking? Let alone smoking in the restaurant, and then someone's in there with a cigar. So, what once was so good, unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. All the beautiful people are gone. And we're left with a load of shit ones. Unfortunately, that's the fact of the matter. So, that's it. I've got this big bod on the crowd. I can't sit there and enjoy myself. Nah. Nah, not for me. Restaurants have to be non-smoking. They have to. They just don't work. So, for what was good, Okay, so what a disappointing day. But we always have a very, very happy ending. And I will be having my happy endings in my back garden, in my secret location. This is actually where I stay. That's my view. Out the back there. Which is alright. I can sit, get a bit of sun, and enjoy a lovely cup of tea from a bone china mug. No less. Bought from TK Maxx for $6.99. About six years ago. I bought the whole collection. I do. But I haven't got the saucer. Oh, mate. Cup of tea. So, no more Leo. No, it's not for me. It's got to go. It's got to go. No more smoking. Got to go. Yeah, it's got to go. Ah, and that's it. So, where I'm going to be going pretty soon, I will be drinking lots of tea. So, get used to it. Tea. Ah, it's a pretty sad end to my Thailand tour. But uh, I've got nothing to do here. I've lost, I've lost total interest, to be honest. I've even lost... Even having a base here is... It's alright in the wet season when the 
you know, we're in lockdown. I want another look. If you have another look, Dan, I'll come and live in Thailand. But until then, no, no, no. I'm not into tourist towns, tourist cities. And everywhere you go, it's not for me. And no, I won't be happy living up in the jungle in Isan. Unless, of course, I've got ten kids and two wives. Which I haven't, so I won't be doing that. I won't. I will be drinking tea. So that was today's vlog. The un... Mate, going back to the Phuket Zoo and see it, seeing that, I, I didn't. I, I was going to fly my drone over just to get drone footage, and I was going to revamp the original Phuket Zoo with some clips. But then I found content as per normal, which I didn't find content sometimes. You know, I, I tend to find too much of it, rather the, you know, in the hope that one day I might find some. Just keep finding it. That's why I ain't gone out. I don't want to find any more. Oh, well, I'll just leave things as they are. I took loads, like I say, I took over 200 vlogs off, maybe 250. They'll all be in the Patreons pretty soon. I want to build the Patreons up. I'm going to make actual Patreons vlogs where I can cuss and swear and tell you as much as I like on my opinions about all sorts. And they will only be on the Patreons vlog. I cannot post those vlogs on YouTube anymore. No, I cannot. I have to earn a living. I have to work for a living. And so that's how it is. It's not, not got water all week in the channel. Matter of fact, it's actually going to strengthen it because it means you guys who really want to see what I'm doing and to watch that unedited raw footage that no one can offer, you're just going to have to pay your three quid a month for it. Which, you know, because it's three quid a month, isn't it? And then I watch a lot of or something when I can watch it. Well, you're not watching it anymore for free. You'll be watching a different, not different, but. I just can't cuss, I've got to have to edit them out, so with that, I'm not going to have the absolute expression that would come. You can have, uh, I don't know, because I haven't started it yet. You'll see, you'll see, and as I will, um, we'll both find out how the vlog is going to go from there on out, as we go there on out, so I, I don't know how it's going to be, because I haven't done it yet. I've only done the cantankerous stuff, which... I will continue to do because I get contactless, I get peed off, I get annoyed, I get like I've got something to expose. I've well, already got some really good footage on uh, Phuket police to expose them with. <laughs> They're daft as a brush, mate. They couldn't be any more daft, but you know, that's how it is. Oh mate, make sure so I forgot a good tea in the summer, in the sun. It's probably going to be a little bit more healthier. It might stain my teeth more, but you know, lives and lives and lives and lives. So, guys, until next time, don't know when it's going to be. You're not going to get vlogs every day. You may, but I don't know. I haven't started the new way. I'll just see how it goes. I may swear too much. I may not. I may, may only be putting a vlog up a month, depending on how many vlogs I actually swear in. So the, the, that's how it is. Um, if you're not happy about it, can you please write in to Google and YouTube and pull them up about it? Because it is the PC world that everybody don't live in. Do the funny old world. So until whenever, thanks for watching. I do mean that, big time. Cheers. Thank you very much. And so until next time. Au revoir.